So we are Chris and Julie, and uh, Julie was a GP in Leeds, and I was involved in IT and manufacturing. It was a very old, virtually dilapidated, converted farm that had been rented out for about 20, 30 years and needed an awful lot of love. When we first walked across the bridge, across the River Sprint, we saw these buildings. I don't think a penny had been spent in 35 years. They were desperate for something to be done. But the thing that really attracted us was the location. Half a mile of the River Sprint, fell land, pasture land. It was just idyllic. Cox Close goes, goes back to the 1830s. It was primarily um, a chicken farm and we think it then started to manufacture using the power of the River Sprint and the timber, the lumber that was in Garnet Bridge Woods. It started to manufacture uh, bobbins for the Lancashire uh, cotton industry. We hummed and hard and we viewed the property. Officially we viewed it about three times. Unofficially we viewed it about 15 times. We sneaked in the back and had a, a look around and our imagination was inspired by what these properties could become. It took about a year to negotiate the purchasing and we had to do some financial jiggery pokery to, to achieve that. We'd always been attracted to homely, cosy environments. Probably the opposite of the, the fashions. The contemporary feel to a lot of buildings wasn't what we enjoyed. And we felt that there was a demand for cosy, rustic-y, ratty-tatty, but luxurious with high-speed internet and power showers and underfloor heating. So we thought we could really make something of these properties. The nature attracts the wildlife. With the help of the Woodlands Trust, we planted 450 trees around the place, making these conduits up for wildlife to move from the woods to the riverside and really em embrace the shacks with wildlife. It was going to take us two years to renovate five properties. It took us six years. In the middle of that was COVID, uh, which destroyed our plans completely. And so the renovations took a lot longer than we anticipated. Our, one of our main contractors went bankrupt. So getting hold of contractors has been a, a problem in the lakes. So it's not been without its trials and tribulations. We designed the properties to be part of the landscape. All the, the three shacks are clad in wainy edged larch from Grisdale. So it's part of Cumbria. In, in the hare shack, we built um, a double sided fireplace. So there's a, a log burner that one side of the log burner is in the lounge. And on the other side of that same fire is the bedroom. It's such a beautiful area it just lent itself to short-term lets. And people have been coming to this, this site for 40 years, firstly in caravans and, and now to the shacks. We just wanted to take it to the next level. We named the shacks after the animals that were living in them whilst we were renovating them. The hare shack, we had a hare living uh, by the fireplace actually. And at a certain point in time, when we had to seal the building, we had to put the windows and doors in. We had to evict Harry, as he became known. But he hasn't gone far. He just lives behind the barn. And he's very active. We see him in the morning quite, quite often. There's a couple of deer, we call them Daphne and Derek, that are quite partial to our Portuguese laurel trees. We held a beauty parade for marketing companies, and we spoke to Sykes and Lake Lovers and got a feel for what, what the market would be attracted to. And that was part of our design decision. We knew what we liked and what we didn't like. We had this gut feeling that people just like nature and, and not want to leave the contemporary world and just relax in an environment that they don't normally get access to. We recently went to the annual general meeting at Harrogate 
and we were so impressed with all the effort that goes into the marketing and the search engine optimization. We thought these are the people for us. We initially went with Lake Lovers and when Lake Lovers were taken over by Sykes, we thought, ooh, what, what's going to happen here? But the truth of the matter is that we ended up with a, a marketing powerhouse. The reviews that guests leave are, are important to us. It's feedback, literally feedback on what we're doing, how we're treating them, how they are enjoying the experience that we've created. The first thing we do when we do a changeover is to look to see what people have put in the book. We're just delighted. It, it reaffirms what we thought all those years ago before we started. If I was doing it all again, I would do the developing differently. I would probably get uh, another uh, contractor involved. It took too long. Covid didn't, didn't help. That stopped the job for, for a while. If I was to give some advice to someone that wanted to do something similar, I would say start the other way around. Go to the experts, Sykes, Lake Lovers. They will guide you as to what the market wants, what's attractive, what's not. I'm sure they don't want 50 properties that are all the same. Getting the guests to click is an art form. Sykes. Sykes are a big player, big hitter, and it shows. If I was to sum up the relationship that I have with Sykes, uh, I would say that Sykes are an integral part of my business. I couldn't do the marketing and the search engine optimization and get the guests, get the message across, show the product that we've got without Sykes. So there's plenty to do here, plenty to entertain you. If you like walking, it's perfect. If you don't like walking, it's perfect. <laughs> you can just do nothing. <laughs>